Hi everyone. If you're prepping for the DPWH Project Engineer Accreditation Exam, this video is for you. Let's get started. What do you call the distance between two intermediate supports of bridges? A. Beam distance. B. Span length. C. Support gap. D. Peer distance. Answer. B. Span length. What do you call the clearance between the designed flood level, DFL, or the maximum experience flood level, MEFL, and the soffit of the lowest member of the bridge superstructure? A. Flood margin. B. Water gap. C. Free board. D. Elevation clearance. Answer. C. Free board. What kind of cutoff channel is being constructed to carry 10% of a river discharge? and which subsequently develops capacity of up to 40%. A. Flood relief channel. B. Bypass channel. C. Diversion channel. D. Pilot channel. Answer. D. Pilot channel. Revetment are structures constructed, blank, to the flow of the river. A. Parallel. B. Perpendicular. C. Diagonal. D. Opposite. Answer, A, parallel. Ground sills are structures constructed, blank, to the flow of the river. A, parallel. B, perpendicular. C, diagonal. D, opposite. Answer, B, perpendicular. Rivers, esteros, and navigating canals not subject to overbank flows should have a minimum easement measured from the edge of the existing bank or the improved bank of. A. 5.0 meters. B. 5.5 meters. C. 6.0 meters. D. 10 meters. Answer. B. 5.5 meters. What is used to emphasize to the approaching driver a marked change in the direction of travel and the presence of an obstruction? A. Speed hump. B. Warning sign. C. Hazard marker type HM. D. Chevron alignment sign. Answer, C. Hazard marker type HM. You are to recommend measures to minimize inundation on the landslide of an overflowing river. Which of the following is not acceptable? A. Reduce the flood inflow to the area by constructing spillways and retarding basins. B. Regulate the land use in the area. C. Install drainage facilities like pumping stations. D. Introduce dredging works. Answer. D. Introduce dredging works. A proposed flood control project has a mini hydroelectric power component. However, the area is already being serviced by the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines, NGCP. Which of the following will be the best action to take for the DPWH engineer? A. Proceed with the mini hydroelectric power component. B. Seek approval from NGCP for the mini hydropower component. C. Delete the mini hydropower component. D. Conduct a feasibility study on the mini hydropower component. Answer. C. Delete the mini hydropower component. Generally, what is the minimum freeboard allowance above the maximum experience flood level, MEFL, and design flood level, DFL, of revetments? A. 0.5 meters. B. 1.0 meter. C. 1.5 meters. D. 2.0 meters. Answer. C. 1.5 meters. Minimum overall thickness should be blank for all types of revetment, except for reinforced concrete type. A. 150 millimeters. B. 200 millimeters. C. 300 millimeters. D. 400 millimeters. Answer. C. 300 millimeters. If the height of the revetment is more than, blank, a berm must be provided to separate the revetment into segments, for stability and maintenance slash patrolling services. A. 3 meters. B. 4 meters. C. 5 meters. D. 6 meters. Answer. C. 5 meters. What is the maximum length of a spur dike? A. 50 meters. B. 100 meters. C. 150 meters. D. 200 meters. Answer. B. 100 meters. 
What do you call the scouring of bed material due to increased stream sediment transport capacity that results from an increase in the energy gradient? A. Erosion B. Sedimentation C. Degradation D. Accretion Answer, C. Degradation For creeks in urban and rural areas not subjected to overbank flows, a minimum easement to be provided measured from the edge of the existing bank or the improved bank should be, blank. A. 3.0 meters B. 4.0 meters C. 4.5 meters D. 5.0 meters Answer, C. 4.5 meters what do you call the component of a bridge that supports the bridge spans and is located to minimize the constriction of traffic or flow of water underneath the bridge? A. Abutment B. Beam C. Pier D. Column Answer. C. Pier It is a temporary wall installed to exclude water to allow construction work within the area protected. A. Retaining wall B. Barricade C. Cofferdam. D. Flood barrier. Answer. C. Cofferdam. What provides access for equipment to the location of the foundation of the bridge? A. Access road. B. Craneway. C. Service road. D. Construction path. Answer. B. Craneway. These are rectangular piles, which can take huge axial loads and high moments. Ideal for boulder ground and alluvial soil, but adaptable to most types of ground. A. Concrete piles. B. Barrette piles. C. Steel piles. D. Box piles. Answer. B. Barrette piles. The main objective of the blank dynamic test is to determine pile bearing capacity. A. Low strain. B. High strain. C. Static. D. Pile integrity. Answer. B. High strain. That concludes our review of the project engineer questions and answers. I hope you found the information useful and that it helps you in preparing for your next exam. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your engineering journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful content.